Warning! The following contains hint scenes of graffiti. Graffiti may be art, but it's also an act of vandalism and is a crime all across the world. The D-Rock 100 does not condemn any acts of this vandalism of any kind. Otherwise, the ones that are responsible will be given a fine, probation, or even a sentence to prison. Viewer discretion is advised. On with the show. It's showtime. But he is the D Rock 100, and welcome him back to more of Jet Set Radio Future Replay. Last time, we saved DJ Professor K, and we defeated Charles Barnett, I mean Rukaku Goji. And we ended him in his reign of terror once and for all, and ended the main game also once and for all. This time, we're gonna do something rather different. And I think it's about time. And we at long last would begin the after game. What better way to start things off with the guy that we have yet to play is as of right now. Or one of the two. That's right. You know it. Let's see what everyone has to say. The real enemy is your own fear. Remember that. Don't use your eyes to try to feel it, you know? Ha 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 ha, half bad. Sometimes, you gotta get moving or else and nothing's gonna, gonna hey, get done, yo. And of course, gotta think of the big and bad girl who saved us once and for all. Hey. Yeah. You just have to try everything you know, with an open mind. Yeah, I like you, Chaz. Uh, Cube, excuse me. Sorry! Yeah, I like you, Cube. Uh, if this town could talk, what poetry it would speak? Like I said, this woman's a fan of poetry. Did you get all the graffiti souls? You still got a full laundry list of things to take care of, uh, you know? There are some things in that you really can only feel when you're out in the streets, you know? Hey! You're never as good as you can be. Don't slack off. Good choice of words. I love everything about Tokyo. Even things I hate. Really. Hey, you. If you get a jet in the trials, you can even hit any use of people who aren't here to take out in the streets. In fact, now I'm thinking about it. We now have this sun that is now accessible to us. Test runs! However, we're not gonna cover that yet. We're actually gonna save that for later. But instead, what we are going to do Oop, wrong location. I would like to head off for Dogenzaka Hill. Because now we get into the fun stuff. And by fun stuff, I mean clean up some mess. But first, it's the Doom Riders. They've been brainwashed by the noise tanks. Payback time. They're gonna try to get revenge for the humiliation they suffered at the stadium. This time, we won't be the last. Yep. Three, two, one, go! Time for a race against the Doom Riders. Ow, you. That was a pain. That was a mess up. 
All right. Here we go. And you. Oh, that guy's not using a boost dash. Oh, boy. Ha-ha. <laughs> Miss me. Yeah. Not take any chances here, boys. Ha 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 Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. Might as well do this. Alright. So we do Have you. Hey, right, go it up. I wonder if, if DJ Professor gets gonna say the thing again. Probably not. They're kind of back there. Yeah, she's probably not gonna say it this time around. Back there? Still back there. But you know what? We got this. Kick their asses! See? We got nothing to worry about. So now, it's time to clean up this mess. Uh, these anti graffitis in the area. In fact, I actually kind of get the strange feeling that the one who drew these are either the Golden Rhinos or Clutch. It wouldn't make sense in for one of those two because... Well, I guess then again, Clutch did say that he was, quote unquote, paying a salary. But now, we're ready to rock and roll. Because at long last, we can clean, turn him, spraying the turf, and then his uh, hair locations. And of course, don't forget to stock up on his graffiti if he can't be needed, because they're everywhere. In fact, you want to know what's stupid? One of them's going to be in a location that is going to be rather jerk as you're getting back. In fact, um... No. I just came up here for nothing. They will be in a location suitable where it is completely jerkish. Like this one. Alright. Alright. Off to a good start. See? We're already halfway done. Yeah, I still haven't thought about how changing my graffiti, but I will definitely show off more for what kind of graffiti we can potentially use in the near future. And I'm actually going to make sure that I actually do it. Because we got a larger group to go for. Got one right over here. There we go. Did we oh, there's one right here. I didn't see that one. And you know what? I know where another one is at. I had the right idea. In fact, I even uh, saw it myself during that race with the Doom Riders. Okay. Up. Nope. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Now for these next ones. I'll get the 
ones up here. There's gonna be some graffiti that's gonna be locations and that even you probably couldn't even wait that you can get access to. The rest of them are gonna be in this building. And the majority of them is going to be if I can maybe show one off. I might as well get the ones on the ground floor, but for some reason, they put his some um, in the back of counters. In fact, if you just briefly saw it, this one is right up right above us. Yep, right there. Two more to go. I'm kind of debating if whether or not if I should really be going to all of them as many as I can in one episode. But I kind of thought about it, but I want to take things nice and slow because there is a lot that this game has to offer. And I will definitely be showing off the... The trials, because we have more characters that we can unlock. Back down. Is there one easy? Right behind us. Aha! There we go. And that's it. You don't even have to get a dance of victory sound effect of any kind. Which does not make any sense. But I guess I can understand where we're going with that one. But. I've done pretty much all I really wanted to show off in this episode. And you know what? Sure. I think the time has come for me to pick out some new graffiti because we've been kind of been. I've been shrugging this off throughout the entirety of the main game. I think it's time for an upgrade. If you talk to Roboy right here, one that you want to go to is all this graffiti right here. If you come to here, pick graffiti to use. So this right here shows off all of your graffiti. And did we potentially miss a few? Yeah, it looks like we're missing a few. But unfortunately, I'm a, I, I guess I might as well show you off on the ones that we have. But I have to say, I would really like hate to find out more on who made these graffitis. Because if they're done by professional graffiti artists, my heart goes out to you guys. Because those things are beautiful. But yeah, get used to hearing that it sound a lot. In fact, um, guess what I'm mad at? This one right here, we'll actually be seeing a little bit more of it somewhere else. Which is pretty cool, I guess. Grind corn! <laughs> Corn's got an ego. It's cute. So I think for this one in particular, I think I might go for... You know what? Let's do it. What was that one? Is that carbon? Where'd it go? Yeah, ka kaboom! All right. So for the small one, we've seen that one hit a lot in frames and something else later. But I, I actually like using sh shrimply alien him from time to time. But honestly, don't know why. Just. Gonna go for one that I have gotten a lot of use throughout my past when I've played through this game, but pet <laughs> burnt pig, that's cute. But yeah. Who is in charge of creating these graffitis? Because oh whoa, that looks like You know what? That one definitely won. Because that looks like a like a combination of a game guard with a little bit of haunter in it. Because that's adorable. I love it. Wait. Super dangerous level. Super metallic brain. But yeah, for some reason, we missed a few graffiti stalls. I'm actually going to look more into that off screen. 
see if I potentially have missed any of them. But I'm willing to bet that I think some of those won't be accessible until later on. And Gorgeous Body Line is the one that I usually go for a lot because that's like my personal favorite out of the medium size. And I'm going to give a hit the shaft this time around because, well, let's face it. Now, this is a theory, but I'm willing to bet that these right here are locked by default because we haven't properly unlocked them from elsewhere. I'll have to look more into that because if I am correct, then we should get those unlocked later on. So, high up in the autumn sky. Why not? This is another one that we'll be seeing for a little while later. Let's see here. Die, die, bomb. <laughs> that's, a, that's one of my personal favorites. Um, <laughs> we'll be right back. That's funny. I used this one in my past Let's Play, and quite frankly, it's kind of appropriate. This one was a weird one, but so weird that I actually grown quite attached to it. But now that I'm looking more into them, especially at this age, it really has uh, gone gone crazy, and that looks wrong. Especially when you look at it one way, and now you can never unsee it. <laughs> You know what? I'll hold on to this one. Because... Because why not? Jeez! <laughs> Fat beat! <laughs> it looks like beaten with an egghead. It looks like, hey Arnold, but... Oh wait, hey Arnold is a football head, but... It looks like Humpty Dumpty he, and a beat being a DJ. That's so cute. <laughs> but seriously. Who is in charge of these graffiti souls? Because these are beautiful. And I actually gave a lot of respect to them for them. Once I'd done a little bit of MR searching years ago, but now looking at them again, this just proves it even more. In fact, I would be surprised if any of them are still existent out there in the real world. We're almost done, guys. Painkiller. Uh, you okay there, buddy? You sure? You don't look so good. Perhaps then maybe you need to get that screw out of your neck. I guess you can finish that. He's feeling rather screw loose. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know, I gotta talk about this, but some people have been thinking that I would make a fantastic Joker because I have such a weird laugh. <laughs> but you know what? I actually can't blame them. I actually kind of applied to this. But I kind of thought about it, so you know what? Let's do it. I gotta give this guy some credit. Okay. Now what's really cool, oops, in this section, we can actually create our own graffiti. So you can literally do however you want to make it, like, in fact, you can literally, there we go. You can literally paint this whole thing if you want. It's just the options that you're given to are almost limitless. But yeah, creating your own graffiti. What's not to like about it? But I would like to know. Has anyone actually created their own graffiti and used them? And well, I know one at the very least, but. Honestly, they're pretty cool. Um, might as well show you this off. Um, I'll teach you the basics. This right here is basically practice for everything that you've already seen. This one is irrelevant. And from right here, you can actually select all the different kinds of music that you want to use throughout the entirety of the game. 
In fact, um, I kind of thought about it. And, you know what? I actually kind of thought about it, so let's do it. We need to upgrade in the background music for this one, so let's turn it up there. Hideki Nakunuma, you outdid yourself. And of course, right, you can pick your character. So, and of course, saving gamers over here. Test runs, like I said, we'll be dealing with it later. So, I guess now that we've gotten that taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and things off from right here. Next time on Jet Set Radio Future, I say we head off for Shibuya Terminal, the next location of where we can go to to clean up all of this stupid mess of these graffitis that may as well look like a bad name. See you guys then.